All eyes on Michigan as the swing state hosts its presidential primaries, the last until Super Tuesday next week. Hey, how are you? As the incumbent, you'd expect Joe Biden to face very little competition in the primaries, but members of his own party are pushing back against the president, pressuring him to call for a ceasefire in Gaza. Free, free, free Palestine! A warning to Biden and his administration that they need to hear um, our calls and heed our demands and respond to what it is that we're asking for, which is an immediate and a permanent ceasefire. The grassroots campaign making their voices heard by voting uncommitted in the Democratic primary. It's a humanitarian vote. It's a protest vote. Organizers are hoping to send a strong message to the White House. You need to call for a ceasefire because it will save lives and because it's the necessary thing to do politically. Otherwise, you, President Biden, will be handing the White House to Donald Trump. God bless. Trump still has one major competitor in Nikki Haley, but the former president is so confident he isn't even in Michigan. His campaign says he's phoning up some local radio stations instead and plans to call into his own victory party Tuesday night. Ahead of the Michigan primaries, Nikki Haley once again vowing to stay in the race. Look, 70% of Americans have said they don't want Donald Trump or Joe Biden. I am giving them a choice. We don't anoint kings in America, and I think everybody deserves competition. Trump smoked Haley on her home turf last weekend, winning the South Carolina primary by 20 points. I have never seen the Republican Party so unified as it is right now. Republicans in Michigan will also award additional delegates in a caucus-style convention on Saturday. Only Republican activists elected by their local parties can participate. Brandon Chogri, City News.